today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Elisa. I'm a cruel for YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I think we just hop into this. And today I'm going to do a first impression on a palette that feels like it is taking YouTube by storm. It's, I don't know. It's the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. And the palette looks like this, if you didn't know. So it's 20 shades. Yeah, <laughs> it's 20 shades. And it is like a little bit of everything. It's kind of like a rainbow palette, but not a rainbow palette, but kind of like a rainbow palette. And it feels like everybody <laughs> want to try this palette, is going to try it, have tried it. So I also bought it, as you see. So I'm going to do a look with this today. So I think we just hop into this. So I don't really know what I want to do. I know that I want to <laughs> test this lime shade. I have swatched it and it looked amazing. And I also want to try this marigold because I love these kind of mustards. So I think I might be like here and down here. I think I actually will do that. So I actually think I will start with this in my crease and see how that looks. Maybe it looks good, maybe it looks like shit. It looks good. I haven't tested that many Beauty Bay palettes. I've only tested one before. I have the Nikki Tutorials and the Beauty Bay palette. And I've used it twice I think <laughs> I like it I did buy it because it was on sale it was like 40% off so I was like okay I'm going to buy it and try it and I did and I thought it was okay like nothing special but I didn't think it was bad, so yeah, and this palette wasn't expensive at all. I think I bought it for, I don't know how many dollars it could be, but it wasn't expensive and I think what I've heard Beauty Bay do good shadows for a good price. Okay, so I maybe think I want to deepen down my crease a little bit, but I don't know with what? I don't know if I want to take this orange one or this brown one. Because I don't know what I want to have on my lid. I haven't decided that yet. Maybe I go in and test to take this sunrise, this orange one, just to see how it will look. If it do any difference at all. If it doesn't do it, I <laughs> brown one. It just, just warms it up a little bit. And I think it feels like all of my friends here on YouTube and everybody that I watch has bought this palette and made a video on it. I think... I don't think I've watched any of the videos. Because usually when I'm going to buy a palette I don't want to see a video on it before because I like don't want to know what other people think about it or maybe so one video i can't remember but it feels like everybody is really really liking this and it's now that i struggle i do not know because i think i want something really deep and then go in with this lime shade but I don't know which one maybe I should take ivy earth doesn't seem that fun maybe I should take raw I think I actually will take raw and we will see maybe I fuck this up <laughs> maybe it will look like shit then when I take the green one 
Maybe. Okay, this was really pigmented. <laughs> like, really? Really pigmented? And it feels like I have so much on my brush. So this shade, I really like this and it works good to have up in my crease as well. And it's now I don't know if this is going to be good. So I'm going in with that really light green. And I have so much cat hair in everything. I don't know if this is a good brush. And I know that mixing green and red is maybe not always the best. But this is a shimmer, so it should work good. Okay, I don't know. This brush wasn't good. And this is actually one of Beauty Bay's own brushes, but I think it's a little bit too... I don't know. Maybe a little bit too loose. Okay, should I... But it's like the same thing as it usually is with me. I need to clean my brushes and I haven't done it, so... Yeah, I think we just keep packing this on. Okay, packing was maybe better than try to swoop it on. I'm just going in with the red shade to blend them. Maybe just took over a little bit. Okay, so if I go back with, just dip the brush in the green one and just go over it again. Yeah, so I think I, I am pretty okay with this. It just feels like I want to deepen down my outer corner with something. And I don't know what this something is. I like don't know. Okay, now I'm going to say something that I thought like I was never going to say. I miss a black in this palette and like I often don't like the black when it is like a black in palette. I'm thinking that a black is taking space from something else that could be more fun. But now I actually miss a black one. Now maybe I should try to win with this brown earth to see how it will look. Because it's not that deep like in the pan, but maybe on top of this, maybe it's mostly showing out on, in my crease. Huh. Okay, so who am I saying that I miss a black one in palette? I don't know. Like it feels like this just turned it a little bit muddy. So I will go in with a clean a clean crease brush don't know if I'm making it worse or if I'm making it better you know what I actually think we just have to go with this so I will fix my base and I will choose a lipstick to this and then I come back with the finished look so this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Honeydew from Colourpop and on my lips I took Hanging Rock from Nabla. And I... I like the look. I also did take in my inner corners. I took this ray and I was like, okay, this is just a lighter shimmer. But now I see it's like a duochrome, so it was kind of green, but I don't mind it because I had this lime shade next to it. So yeah, I I don't know what I feel about this palette. It's not a bad palette, but I don't know. It's not like my favorite formula. And I maybe wish there was some... A deeper shade, maybe that this brown was going to be a little bit deeper. But other than that, I think it is an okay palette. My first impression is, is good. Nothing really to complain at. 
at on. I think that this shade, if I would have taken a better brush, because it was kind of flimsy, I think I would need a little more denser brush to pick out up this shimmer. I think it would have been better, but I don't have anything to complain at. Is it? Uh, am I in love with this palette? No, I'm not, but I think it's worth the money. Honestly, because it is a kind of a cheap palette. So, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know what more to say. I think it's fun that Beauty Bay does more of these. And I really hope that they will continue. And I think it could be so good for them to like continue on the more colorful and more... They are doing some like really, really big palettes sometimes. They have their own line. I never know what they are called. But they have like a rainbow and then they ha I think they have three different sizes and they have a neutral warm palette and they have three different sizes. But I think if they continue with palettes like this, I think they can be so much bigger. Because also I think that Beauty Bay is more available. Now I live in Sweden and Beauty Bay is from the UK so I don't know how it is from like the US, I I don't know, I can only talk for myself, but like Beauty Bay is more available for us that live in Europe than for example Colourpop, because Colourpop you need to pay taxes and everything, and Beauty Bay you don't need to pay taxes when you live in Sweden. So I think if they like keep this up and come out with more fun palettes, I think it could be really great for Beauty Bay actually. And especially now when people are starting, to, more people in the beauty community starting to play with Beauty Bay, I think it could be really great for them. I, I like don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I don't know where my bra brain is at. I have no clue. But yeah, I like the palette. I don't love it. Will I use it again? Yes, I think I will. <laughs> Can I recommend it? After like a first try, if you want a more affordable palette, do it. I think it has a good color story. It's like... Is that a color story? Yeah, I think they did a good job with the color story. I bought it, so I fell for it. So yeah, I think that is all for this video. I'm not like even sure what I'm talking about right now. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!